Welcome back to my channel, foodie. So today we're making some delicious mashed potatoes. How do you like your mashed potatoes? Do you like them extra creamy or do you like them chunky? All right, stay tuned. All right, so today to start, I'm using two different types of potatoes. I have the bonita potato, which is like, you know, the white sweet potato. It's the one we use in Jamaica. And then I have some Irish, well, red skin potato, what we call Irish potato. If it's not the one potato, we call the Irish. So it's the red, the red potato. I'm just going to peel some of the skin off. But the white sweet potato, um, the skin is not good on the potato. So I'm going to clean that off completely. This potato alone felt like it weighed about two pounds, literally. So um it's very thick and it's one of those you have to use a big knife to you know yeah maneuver <laughs> to cut in it so that's what i'm doing here you see how hard it is and yes it's one of those that um yeah so i'm just cutting it in four it's bigger than my hand like i said it probably weighed two pounds and i probably have another about two pounds of the other potato so about four pounds of potatoes is what i'm using here and I'm going to peel this. And it's a lot harder to cook. It takes a longer um, time to cook. So I am going to get it in the pot before I drop the other one in. Because this will, um, the other one will be cooked way before this one if, if I drop them in the same time. So that's what I'm basically doing. All right. So if you're looking for this potato, it's usually at the farmer's market. Sometimes I see it at, you know, a, a few grocery stores like Publix or, but it's called Bonita. And yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's our version, our Caribbean version of the sweet potato. It's not the yellow, you know, um, sweet potato. It's the white one. This is like if you're making a nice sweet potato pudding, this is what we're using. All right. So the combination is to die for mixing this with the red skin. It's like you get that little sweet, savory. If you, um, you can do this when you're making um, potato salad, too. It's a great combination. All right. All right, and like I said, it will oxidize pretty fast, you know, like start change color. So I'll drop it in really quick. So just add about a, a tablespoon of the garlic um, salt to the water. And, you know, just make sure you put enough water to cover the potatoes. So it's probably maybe 10 to 12 cups of water in that pot. So I'm just peeling some of the skin off because, you know, not everybody in my household like the skin on there. So uh, I just, you know, just leave a little for just for color but i i remove most of the skin all right so i'm just dicing this um probably in this one potato in eight just to you know it, it helps with the cooking process when it's cut smaller than when it's whole or in bigger chunks so that's why i'm cutting it um in this smaller size All right, and if check out my strainer, this you can actually pick it up on my Amazon storefront. The water sits in one, the potato sits in the other. You just lift it out and move it to the side. So innovative. And like I said, it's you can wash rice in this. You can wash other vegetables, everything. All right, so right there I have about a half a cup of, well, actually about a quarter cup of sour cream. I'm using cheese, um, mozzarella, and Parmesan. I'm putting some parsley. All right there is my um, heavy whipping cream, about a cup. And right there, some melted butter, about half a stick of butter. It's unsalted. And I'm going to add some olive oil to the parsley and the garlic just to, you know, to crush it. All right. So I am going to combine this with the butter. And I'm going to add probably about another teaspoon of the garlic salt to this. And yeah, that's it. It's, it was so good. It was so, so good. I made this with... Um, if you look at my previous video, I made some salmon and um, some braided salmon. So, yeah, this went great with it. So definitely give it a try and let me know how you like it. So I, it's been about five minutes. I'm just adding the remainder of the potatoes to the pot and I'm going to let it 
boil until you know just test it with your fork probably about 10 to 15 minutes see it's soft it's cooked um just make sure it's cooked if not it it won't mash well all right so just strain this off that same strainer see how versatile versatile it is i can use it for anything and just i'm just gonna put this pot back in the middle um all right see all the water sits at the bottom there it is all right i'm just gonna add my butter with the parsley and the garlic and the, the seasoned salt to my pot along with my other ingredients so see it's in my ac it's cold in the house so the butter start thickening back up all right so i'm just gonna add the butter um like i said half a stick of butter unsalted butter about a teaspoon of the um seasoned salt the garlic salt that was a lorry's about a cup of heavy whipping cream and i'm using about half a cup of the um mozzarella cheese and half a cup of some parmesan and i'm also using about a quarter cup of the sour cream so great combination not too salty it was just right that's the sour cream i'm adding in so everything is you know nice and warm and, and cheesy so yep it'll be nice warm creamy and cheesy All right, just mix well, add the potatoes back to the mixture. See how the cheese is <laughs> um, extra cheesy already. So this was a nice, cheesy garlic mashed potatoes. Um, just use this masher or smasher, whatever you want to call it, potato smasher, smashing it. Or you can use a handheld mixer. If you like it not too creamy, still want to have a little texture to it, you can do it this way. It was so delicious. Um, so either way, whatever your preference is, I use it. I don't like when it's too smooth. Um, yeah, so I like it, you know, a little, little texture to it. So that's how I like it. All right, so just pair this up with your favorite side. I made this, like I said, with some braided salmon. Just go back and look at my previous video. There it is, picture perfect and also delicious. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.